400 corn plants in this field and there's maybe four green ones. <laughs> I take that back. There's only three green ones. Oh, shit. That scared me. Oh, that's a lot of Zeeks. Goodness. Children of the Corn, part eight. How many of those movies did they actually make? Ah, I can't move. Get out of here. Welcome back, everybody, to 7 Days to Die on Alpha 20. I'm an old guy gaming. It is Horde Night 42, and the Horde's about ready to start. And we're about ready to hopefully get some good XP. Uh, so I've got lots of bombs in my inventory here, medical supplies, ammo, that sort of thing. A lot more uh, extra supplies and whatnot here in the Fat Loots crate. And so, as you can see, I've upgraded uh, some of this area up here uh, to steel. Um, and... Um, we have we actually have one point right here um and i'm just barely starting the next level so hopefully we can you know get you know a couple levels at least two three four i mean we have the potential to get lots of levels if the horde keeps coming so all right let's uh get this party started here i'm gonna let it build up just a little bit uh, i do have the blocks down below um all the second layer blocks upgraded to to steel and uh, eventually, you know, we'll do some more steel upgrading down below, too. So, yeah, let's just see how many points we get, man. 25.85 from that one. We'll probably eventually need to uh, upgrade to grenades um, when we get further into the end game for the real tough zombos, I think. I could even maybe do double bombs down there. I don't know. We'll see. Get away from there. The thing about this design is I don't want to I don't want to leave them down there too long without blowing them up because, you know, they could they could then actually break through the blocks. So There we got 5,500 on that deal. Oh, uh, let's take this too. Got a bunch of atom junkies have been saving up. That'll help too. Uh, we do have demolitions expert level four. Um, all right, let's go up here for a second. Cause it sounds like we've got a bunch of dudes down here causing problems. Uh, we do have to watch out for the cops though. So, yeah, I might have to kind of cycle back and forth between going up there and throwing down here. They do like to bang on that ramp for some reason. I don't know why. But if we can keep the horde coming all night long, then, you know, we have the potential to get, a, you know, maybe three levels. I don't know. We'll see. Get out of there, you morons. You too. Oh shit. <laughs> okay. So we got Hordy's coming from over that direction. Alright, let's get back down inside here. And we've gone through our first thing of bombs too. Alright, I'm gonna throw two this time. Let's let it build up just a little more. and see how much XP we get on this one. Okay, still only got about 5,000. Yeah, we might need to go to grenades. The thing about the pipe bombs is they're just so cheap and easy, though, you know? Look at them all down there, man. Crazy. We got 9,000 XP on that deal. Look at you coming up here. Okay. Oh, let's close that. All 
They don't seem to want to stay up up there if they do get all the way up to the top, which is interesting. Nine thousand on that one, good. All right, let's go back up again. You guys get out of there. Come here, buzzard. All right. There we go. We got our our next level. Let it build up just a little bit. Okay, we're through our our next uh, stack there. You got to get up in the air for me to kill you, homie. There we go. Almost 7,000 on that one, not too bad. All right, he's dead. I keep getting buzzards coming in, that's why I don't want to quite go up there. All right, let's um, replenish our toolbar with explosives here. And let's hop up real quick and see what's going on. And they really like that ramp there, don't they? Ooh, 11,000 XP on that one. Nice. Oh, I think that was just an add-on from what we had done before. Oops. Okay, let's go back up again. Why they, they like to congregate in the ramp there? I don't know. Get out of there, you morons. You're not pathing the way you're supposed to. Okay. This should be a good one, hopefully. Oh yeah, 12,000. Nice. <laughs> that was really good. Oh shit. That's funny when it sticks right in the middle there. You know, something that might be cool now that, that I think about it is um, to make this floor out of bulletproof glass so you can actually see, you know, down below might be fun. I mean, the only thing, this will get some cops spent every once in a while, but, uh, well, actually, I don't know, if cops can see you through bulletproof glass, that would cause them to start spitting at it more, I don't know. I'll have to think about that, I guess. Let's hop back up here again. Whoops. Get out of there, dudes. Probably shouldn't be wasting bombs on just one and onesie twosies here.
Come on, game. Really? We're done right five seconds after, or five minutes after midnight? Really? <laughs> what the hell, man? Um, okay. Well, we almost got two, two levels. I mean, we'll have actually three by the time I hit the next one, but two full levels. Oh, well, that's, I gotta say, that's kind of disappointing, man. The older versions of the game, they would just keep going. Maybe, maybe I should try and bump the horde count up to 64. Um, I can get some, a lot of lag with that sometimes, but what's game stage? 93, yeah. Hmm. Well, I guess it's over. It's kind of disappointing, man. I'm not going to lie. Um, have the fun pumps made it so we can no longer have super XP bases or something? Hmm. Okay. Well, let's, um, let's go get the loot. Uh, I have some eye candy with me. And we'll wear those. Let's just put all of this stuff in. I'll, I'll worry about repairing later. I want room for, uh, for the loot skis. Um, here, we'll just put that there for now. Okay. Okay, so let's take this. Nice. Um, were we thinking about buying that at one point? I don't know. Well, I'm glad we didn't. Hmm, those might be an upgrade. We'll have to, to see. Yeah, they, they are. Not a big one, but a little bit of an upgrade. All right, any more bags up top? Not on that side. Okay, let's get the blue ones next. Okay, that'll be worth fixing up and selling. Nice. And Claude's treasure map. Um, let's read that. Close enough to home to where it shouldn't be too terribly far away. Nice purple chess piece. Okay, so that's it for the loot. Uh, damage is not too bad down here. Uh, we got a couple blocks that took some hits, so um, I'm going to start running the steel all along the back and the sides too, because you can obviously see that they were hitting on that. Um, but yeah, otherwise not really too bad down here. Not bad at all. And then, you know, they seem to really like to stay on the ramps here, but we kept them you know, kept them at bay to the point where they weren't able to actually damage or, or destroy any blocks. And same thing here, just a little bit of damage over here. So, yeah, I don't know, guys. Um, I might go ahead and try to bump the horde up to 64 for the next horde night. The thing is, is, you know, each time we do it, it's the horde's going to get worse, though. Um, so we'll have to, I guess we'll have to wait and see. But anyway, I guess what I'm going to do is... I'm going to get this, uh, the base repaired and get all this, the loot hauled back to the house and inventory management and all that. And then depending upon how our time goes, um, we might actually go do, uh, one of those buried treasures. I got uh, a second one too, if you guys noticed that, uh, in terms of upgrades, this is probably the best thing that we got tonight. I'm, I don't remember. It's got, does 74.7 block damage, which I'm pretty sure is higher than what we're currently using, but I'd have to compare them to make sure. Um, we got a, uh, 
where is it at? We've got this. It's not better than what we're currently wearing, but it's still a nice prize, you know, that we can fix up and sell. And we got a purple baton that we can sell and some other stuff like that, too. So, okay. Well, I'll bring you guys back uh, here in a little while. All right, guys, we're back and uh, we're at the first buried treasure that, uh, or one of the buried treasures, anyways, that we got. So, um, and I'm also really close to. Uh, trader Jin here. I, f I figured we'd swing down south, sell stuff to her, and I don't remember if the traders have reset or not. If they have, we might do another uh, trader round, uh, but we'll see. Anyway, let's go ahead and do the treasure first. So, as usual, we'll start in the southwest corner. Um, it hasn't hit every single time I've done it, but it does still seem to hit, you know, fairly often, so... As good a place as any to start, I suppose. So I'll let you guys, uh, or bring you guys back when we find the treasure. And here we are. Okay, we're going to take a uh, an eye candy here. And uh, we should already have our, our luckies on. All right, let's open this sucker up and see what we get. Okay, pretty decent amount of cash and ammunition, about the same as uh, before, so can't complain about that. Uh, let's see, we need to make room for three things. Um, we can definitely throw out the stone. It's a lot of clay to throw out. I don't think I want to throw anything else out, so... Um, oh. No, 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 no. Did we just lose all that? Oh, no, there's a backpack there. All right, actually, you know what, though? That's going to expire pretty soon. Uh, what is not super, super important? It's... No way, it's gone already? Come on, game. What the hell? Really? Wow, okay. Well, they don't give you any freaking time at all, man. All right, well... I can't remember exactly what I left in there. I think it was just ammo stuff, so I don't think we lost anything super valuable but man i'll have to keep that in mind next time for um you want to make sure you have enough room to get everything out of there because i mean that backpack disappeared in seconds that was crazy and it was bullshit too all right whatever whatever let's um patch this up in case i'm driving through here in the future i don't want to fall in a hole here okay all right, let's go over to the trader. Wasteland. All right, Jenny, you restock on day 46. Yeah, what is it? Day 43. Yeah, so. Day. You don't know anything about that. I don't know anything about that. Okay, so yeah, they have reset, so that's good. Um, Let's stick a sugar butt. Which I guess I left out in my bike. Is that is that a new um comment from her? I don't remember ever hearing her say that before. Huh. Being as rich as Trader Joel. Okay, um uh, let's see your inventory. Okay, so let's start with selling these. Uh we've got 18,733 right at the moment. So we'll see what we end up with uh, when we're all set, when it's all said and done. Okay, I believe that's it. Um, so basically, we just made around 15,000 coin ish. Uh, she doesn't want those because I've already sold her some more. Uh, so yeah, that's a nice, pretty nice haul. Okay, let's see what she has in her secret. Art of Mining, we're going to buy that. Urban Combat, Sneaking Over Trash, we're going to buy that. Um, Let's see, anything else in her secret? Nope. Okay. Still looking for the um, the Beanie Mod. Grave Digger. Okay, and that's all the stuff that I sold her. I just knew you'd find something you'd like. Okay, so take less damage from collapsing mines and sneaking over trash. That's always a good one to get. All right, so um, let's go make the rounds with the traders. 
Okay, we're at uh, rectums. Smells like dysentery. Let's grab stuff from here. We should probably get, grab some oh shit drops. We might need them sometime. All right, what you got in your inventory? Uh, let's sell him these. Oh, by the way, in case you guys are wondering why I haven't modded all this stuff, it's because I don't have enough mods to spare. Um, I only have a few, and I want to keep the ones I have, so that's the answer to that question. All right, what you got in Secret Stash, man? Like a little vol volume four. Um, I wouldn't mind a tank mod for the auger, but I'd rather get the bigger one. Uh, okay, nothing there that we really want. Let's look at the normal stash. Here we go. Uh, yep, we will take that one. Sniper volume 5. Zooming uses less stamina. Vehicle fuel saver mod schematic. Yes, we will take that too. Kind of at the point now where we can just pretty much start spending money left and right. I have another full stack going the bike too, by the way, besides what you see in my inventory. Uh, we need another anvil. I don't have the skill to make it, so I'm just going to buy it. And we need uh, bellows too. I need to be looking for those. Uh, all right. Be careful out there. Let's uh. Wouldn't want to get hurt. Read this. Twenty percent less degradation and less stamina when zooming, and this will be super helpful for fuel savings. Okay, so that's it for Rexy. Uh, let's go head on up to Hugh. I'm gonna actually stop off at the base real quick and drop a few things off. So I'll see you guys up at Trader Hugh. All right, guys, um, let's actually make the fuel saver mod. This sucker requires acid, too, so we need steel, polymers, acid, and mechanicals. Um, so there's the mechanicals, acid, and the steel is going to be in... Oh, I left it all back at the freaking horde base. How much do I need? Five. All right, let me go grab it real quick. Well, it might be faster just to make it. Do I have enough iron uh, to do that? Must have put all my wood in here. Yeah, these guys don't have a lot of iron in them. So yeah, let me just get some get get some more iron going in these guys, and then we'll make that. All right, let's put this thing in here. Uh, so we want to go under the hood. So, gas is 100%, durability doesn't give us any kind of a gas mileage, and it doesn't say how much less fuel it consumes, so, I don't know, I guess we just have to trust that it's that it's working. Weird. Okay, um, I'll see you guys up at Trader Hugh. Okay. Shotgun, duck bill, do do, pump shotgun, pipe pistol, robotic drone, armor plating, mod schematic. Um, I don't know. Should I start buying these now? I mean, it is my plan to try out the drone at some point. Yeah, what the hell? Let's do it. Uh, automatic weapons handbook to 10% more damage. Yes, indeed. We will take that. Okay. Let's look at normal stash. Hey, that's all he's got. Now that's all you're gonna buy. I'll let you show yourself out. Okay. Uh, next, I believe we'll hit Trader Joel in the forest. I'll see you guys down there. Okay. Let's see. What do we got now? Reflex Sight Mod. I'm gonna buy that because now we can afford it. Tack Rifle, Tech Junkie Volume Six. No, that's for. Stun batons, which we don't give a shit about. Um, that's it for his main or secret stash. Let's look at his main stash now. I'm actually gonna buy these, you know, because we have some uh, a couple of recipes we've learned. We just need potatoes and corn. Oh, there we go. Uh, I want that. I need one more of those too. And looks like that's about it. I thank you, kind sir. Okay. I thank you too, kind sir. I'll see you guys at Trader Chins.
All right. You might want to get some antibiotics. Uh, sweatshirts and skull caps. No, don't really need that. Uh, here's the motorcycle handlebars we were looking for before, but <laughs> we don't need those now. Great Heist Volume 6. Use no stamina and will sneak sprinting. Yes, we will buy that. Bar brawling. Uh, drinking beer no longer blurs your vision. Yeah, that's a really good one. Um, okay, so I already know Hobo Stew Recipe. Let's look at the normal stash. Uh, we don't need another anvil, so we're good there. Look, oh, here we go. Yeah, let's buy all those potatoes. Okay. Thanks for the business. Stay safe out there. You are welcome, Chin. Very nice. I'll meet you guys down at Trader Joel in our original town. <laughs> okay, what do we got? Spear Hunter, Compound Crossbow Schematic. No, I don't think we need that. I don't think we need that, because even if I had archery maxed out, I'd still only be able to make a blue one, and we already have one, so we're good to go there. Uh, this, I think we'll buy. We got another motorcycle for sale. Steel leg armor. Hmm, nah, let's hold off on that. We can make the foregrip mod. Let's check his normal stash. Steel gloves. Those are pretty crappy level, though. Buy the potatoes. Hell, we might be able to get away with not farming at all in this playthrough if I can just buy corn and potatoes. Um, corn's a little easier to get from the fields. Potatoes. I'm, I have yet to come across a single potato plant in Alpha 20, actually, now that I think about it. I'm sure they're out there, but I just haven't come across them yet. Vegetable stew, anvil, wrench, yeah. Okay. Much obliged, stranger. Um, let's read this. And I will meet you guys down at Trader Hugh in the Wasteland. Look at this. I just said I haven't found a single potato in Alpha 20, and I, I just find a potato field. I mean, there's not, like, anywhere close to an abundance of them here, but they are here. I just never really looked for it, you know, is the thing. Um, so, yeah, let's grab some potatoes. Why not? We'll get some chrysanthemum, too. Oh, my goodness. That's that guy. That's the first time I've seen him. Look at him, man. Okay, um... We killed him? Are you shitting me? Really? Let's go look at him. Oh, is there another one? No, that's a normal zombie. Well, not this kind of zombie, anyway. I did not think we would... Oh, that is just gross. Oh, he's not gonna, like, blow up on me or anything, is he? That is... Oh, disgusting. <laughs> oh my god, okay, let's get out of here in case he does blow up. We gotta get to the trader before it gets too dark anyway. Oh, get over yourself, Vulture. There's that damn bear. Oh, there's another damn bear. Get out of here. I'm stuck on the thing. Okay. Sail, 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 sail. At least he he doesn't say even if it's a scumbag like you, like Rick does. Let's close that door in case that vulture tries to get in here. Okay. Secret Sash. Bar brawling, uh, brawling Volume 2. He's got a robotic sledge. Let's buy the Chili Dog Recipe. Pistol Beat Volume 2. Leg Shots Increased Chance to Cripple. We'll take that. And... Um, do I need another Bunker Buster mod? I don't know if I do or not. I think I'm going to take it, and then if I don't, I'll just stick it in a, a tool later on and sell it. All right, let's look at normal stash. That's all he's got. Wow. That's kind of weak sauce, dude. I guess you're not so bad after all. 
All right, so that takes care of our trader rounds for today. Um, it's almost nighttime. I told you to get over yourself. You didn't listen to me. Thought I heard more. Uh, stuff. So, um, yeah. I'm not entirely sure where we are on time. So... Uh, what we could do is kind of just mess around in the wasteland for a little bit. Maybe hit some cars or something. For loot skis. At least until nighttime. And then, I don't know, this price probably gets pretty nasty at night. At some point, I would like to do some questing down here, which means we're going to have to uh, start working Trader Hume. Um, and going up through the ranks there. So, yeah, that's something to think about. Um, we could do... We could just do a random house. Um, and see if we can get to the end loot. Um, or we can drive around, like I said, and just hit a few cars. Why don't we do that? Let's just drive around and hit a few cars. And, uh, then we'll wrap things up here in a little bit. So, let's... Let's do that. Okay, so we're going to come over here. There's a dog somewhere. Where's that dog at? Oh. Suck it, dude. All right, let me uh, look at my bike here for a second. We're going to put some stuff in here uh, that we don't need to be carrying around with us at the moment. Which is just about everything. You know what I might actually want to do is... Let's put the reflex sight on the pistol. Yeah, I like that better than the scope. Because this isn't really a long-range weapon anyway. Cool, okay. That's a good deal. Um... You've already got the scope and the rad remover, so you're good to go. Okay, let's just put all the rest of this canned food in here. Oh, by the way, uh, we definitely um, saved on gas. Uh, I, could, I couldn't tell exactly how much, but I could tell that we did, uh, which is really great. So uh, that can go in there. Well, let's keep this with us in case we run into a vending machine somewhere. And I want this down on the toolbar for... Wrenching, because we're going to do some wrenching, too. Do I have any um, hackers with me? No, I don't. Darn it. I have some back at the base, but... Okay. Let's just loot some cars here and do a little bit of wrenching and hang out in the wasteland until nighttime. Oh, I forgot, you guys. We've got a whole bunch of points. Well, not a whole bunch, but three or four uh, points that we need to spend. And these, these steel crossbow bolts are so wicked looking. Every time I look at it, it's like, it gives me a little bit of a chill. Because, like, can you imagine getting hit by something like that? Ugh. Just brutal. Anyway, um, yeah, we have some points to spend. Let's look at those. We got three in total. So we're basically focusing on perception. Uh, we're going to continue to do that. And so why don't we put another point into Deadeye? And let's put, um, I wouldn't mind putting a point into Penetrator, so let's do that. And because we are salvaging, let's go ahead and bump this up too. And we're just going to keep working the Perception Tree until, you know, I get a uh, Dead Eye, uh, get those three that we just did up to level four. And then after that, we'll, we'll have to assess where we're at. I do, I do want to get, you know, my, uh, Minor 69er all the way up, Boomstick all the way up. We we'll use our shotgun a lot. We really should be... Put a few more points into that and skull crusher too so it's gonna really we're gonna really just focus between these two trees for you know the near future eventually we're gonna get into fortitude and get into brawler and some of this other stuff too okay anyway uh i guess we didn't check this uh working stiffs here so let's take a look and see what's in here okay 
We're after uh, springs and mechanical parts more than anything else at this point. Uh, because uh, I think I am going to start using grenades on the horde base. Oh, speaking of the horde base, it is my intention... It's my intention to, um... We're gonna, we're gonna try the, the current base out one more time. Um, without changing anything. And if I end up killing the horde again by midnight or, or real early, um, then I, we're, we might rethink things. Um, I mean, the design of the base is, is beautiful. It really is. Uh... So by rethinking things, I'm thinking probably what we would do would be bump the horde up and hopefully we don't get, you know, bad frames or something. Okay. Is there any loot skis in here? Oh, shit. There's a feral in here. Um... Yeah, we'll take that, I guess. I guess. Could have probably taken the bandage and scrapped it, but whatever. Okay, let's go look for some more cars. Um, is there any green corn in that field? There's a dog. There's a car up here. Say goodnight, Gracie. Okay. Uh, we got a vulture flying around somewhere. I saw his shadow. I don't know where he's at. Okay. Come on, Wasteland. We're supposed to have the best loot in the game. Give us something good in these cars. Come here, Ronnie. Oh, wow. Swung right on over his head, didn't we? You want a piece, too? There you go. You got a piece. Actually, you got several pieces in the form of uh, buckshot pellets little bastard okay um oh there is some green corn in this field um i wonder if there's land no there wouldn't be landmines in here uh so let's grab some corn we're probably going to have some zeeks in here too which is fine uh, let's just keep our kniffy out here all this corn there's like probably 400 corn plants in this field and there's maybe four green ones <laughs> I take that back. There's only three green ones. Oh, shit. That scared me. Oh, that's a lot of Zeeks. Goodness. Children of the Corn, part eight. How many of those movies did they actually make? Ah, I can't move. Get out of here. All right. Um, We are fatigued. And we have what we need to fix that right here. Let's also take a bandage. Oh, I could stand to eat something. Let's eat some of that. Uh, we should actually eat the cat chow because... Oh, no, 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 stop. Oh, I hate it when that happens. Uh, anyway. <laughs> We should be eating the cat chow because it doesn't have any recipes. Well, I don't think it does. Yeah, see, no recipes. Oh, man, I would have been... That would have been rage quit time, you guys, if I would have destroyed four cans of food on accident. Good gravy, I hate that. This game needs an are you sure, um, you know, situation for that kind of thing. Okay, scrap those. Hey, is that another one of those bloated guys? It is. All right.
They don't seem that tough. I would have expected them to be tougher than that. I don't know, maybe I just played too much Ravenhurst or something. I guess there's a few more green corn plants in here. Man, that wind is really loud. It's very immersive, you know. Appropriate, but pretty loud. Okay, I guess that's it for the green corn plants. Uh, as far as I can tell. Should we just go in and jack the fat loots out of here? Why not? Let's just do it. Oh, you know what, though? Hmm. We're going to have feral scents on in the wasteland. I don't... We probably better not get that far away from our motorcycle. Things could not go well for us. Okay, yeah, let's just kind of stick to the highways and the cars for now. Did we learn the, um... Did we learn the landmines, stepping on landmines, don't blow up book? We really, if we haven't, we need to find that as soon as possible if we're going to be doing wasteland shenanigans. All right, let's loot this gas pump. Oh, we have an abrasion. Let's fix that too. Put that back there. Wheel's not bad. We do have the ability to make the gyrocopter now. It's not something to keep in mind. Come at me, bro. We need to put some more points into sledges at some point, too. We had to run into that one. Okay, I guess that's it for around here. All right, you guys. Well, uh, we will definitely, like I said, be coming back to the wasteland. I don't think I'll ever live here, but maybe we'll build like a little outpost or something just for the hell of it. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, but anyway, uh, I think we are out of time in this episode, so I'm going to... Uh, probably just kind of head up through here and head home this direction. And uh, in tomorrow's episode, we will do the next thing, whatever that happens to be. Um, we do have the clear and retrieve quests. We, we do want to continue working. Oh, shit. Get out of my face. Uh, we do want to continue working on, you know, getting to tier 4 with Wrecked, so, you know, that's kind of more of our midterm goal, I suppose. We have more House Flipper episodes coming up, too. So, yeah, a lot more to do, and uh, there's still a whole lot of POIs that we that I haven't um, even seen yet, you know, in the game. So, looking forward to all that. All right, you guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share with the video, and we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.